quick, so let's go ahead and take a look at my top 10 comic book picks for next week's new comic book day, September 27th, 2023. I did want to remind you, I am doing my 1K subscriber giveaway still. We're getting there slowly but surely. And I do have my PayPal and my Venmo in the description of the video if you want to support the channel. And if you do decide to do so and leave a message with your support, I will read it in the upcoming video. But with all that out of the way, Let's get started. First off, I want to go over some honorable mentions, and first of those is Micronauts number one, a facsimile. There is a foil uh, as well. I just didn't put that on here. Oh, you can main cover is the foil facsimile. Next up, we have World Tree number one, fifth print. Um, I kind of stopped tracking these, but if you're interested in fifth prints, there you go. These are all kind of probably the first through fifth print uh, as well. Most of those probably one first print. Next up is Mighty Morphin Power Rangers number 11, the third printing. I think this is just a really cool cover, and it's a third print. So I, uh, it says it's a monumental 12 month event that it started off with. Sorry, started it off. So if you're really into the Power Rangers, this particular third print cover could be something you might be interested in. The last of the honorable mentions is this Ms. Marvel the New Mutant number two, one for one or sorry, one for ten McKelvey design variant. It's not that great, but it is what it is. Um <laughs> I mean for uh if you're interested in the Ms. Marvel, there you go. Alright, after that we have number ten getting started and that is this Mighty Morphin Power Rangers number 112 this is cover G the one for 75 it is a beautiful cover and I won't, I've never heard of one for 75 that much before so I think that's pretty interesting and it's a really nice cover so there you go number nine is Dark X-Men number one and I don't think this has much of a key to it however it is you know let's say it with me Second print, one for 25. Those generally have some type of value, or if there's a spec that hits later on, those generally have the biggest bumps. So there you go. Obviously, unless there's some other cover that has the first print of the character on it or something like that. But anyways, it's also not a bad cover. I mean, it's Adam Hughes. So he's not going to you know, do poorly on it. Um, so yeah, there you go. Uh, number eight, we have The Flash, number 105, Facsimile Edition. And this one is, uh, it's a retelling of his origin. Uh, so, we see where he got his, uh, uh, got his powers, as well as the first appearance of Mirror Master, who apparently is one of his, um, larger nemeses in his rogues gallery. After that, we have number seven, and that is Invincible Iron Man number 10. I think this is kind of a lame gimmick that they have Tony Stark marrying Emma Frost. However, um, it is a one for 200. So I think that has some value just right there. I, not only are people not going to order this book, or if, I guess if they do, they're going to lose money on it. Cause I don't see people buying this book. So that could make the one for 200 super rare if people even end up really caring about it all that much. But next up we have number six, and this is Avengers number five. Again, no real value, I don't believe, in the book itself, but look at that, one for 100 Alex Ross Avengers um, sketch cover. It's just a, <laughs> like, I mean, what more do I need to say about Alex Ross, right? It's beautiful. You just look at the detail in each of these characters. I could look at that all day. Anyway, uh, number five, we have Unstoppable Doom Patrol, number six. And this is the first appearance of an all-new Flex Force. So, not quite sure if that's a new team or what. It just says all-new Flex Force rises to help them. So, at number four, we have uh, Power Girl, number one. And then, uh, 
Number three, we have Action Comics. You know, oh, I'm sorry. For Power Girl, it's the first appearance of Amalak, uh, who's an alien with a grudge against Kryptonians. So there's just not much to it, so I just moved on. Um, to Action Comics 1057. This one actually seems pretty interesting. It does have some metahumans who are supposedly going to take the place of the super family. So if that is something you're interested in, I might want to check that out. Next up, we have number three and that is the flash number one and this so it's actually supposed to be um, like it kicks off a whole new sort of run and it has a first appearance of the uncoiled so here's cover a cover B I don't know if this is the uncoiled right here but then there I'm sorry this is cover H this is the one for 50 I don't know why I said B one for 50 but then there is also this one for 25 this could be the uncoiled as well so you got a couple covers here that might have it on there i guess that could be the un cover b could be the uncoiled as well so um here you go number two is death of venom verse number five specifically the one for 50 that has this awesome cover of null um and it's a one for fifty. I don't know that the first, uh, per, or the cover A is necessarily going to have much value, but I do think that the one for fifty could have some value. And my number one is a second print of Death of Venom verse number two, introducing Venom Boy. However, my one B or A or however you want to put it is, of course, the second print one for twenty-five. So what do we have? We have a first appearance of Venom Boy. It is a second print, one for 25. That is the trifecta perfect storm, holy trinity of a great key that you might want to pick up. Doesn't get much, there's no sure things in this game. But it doesn't get much more, I don't want to say secure, but promising. That's the word I'm looking for promising than when all three of those criteria are met of course it all depends on how the secondary market feels about it there's plenty of books that fit that criteria that do nothing so again buy at your own caution and only do it if it's something that you can afford and want to do um so that's my number one death of venom verse number two second print one for 25 introduction of venom boy all right, everybody, that's going to go ahead and do it for me in this video. I hope you enjoyed my top 10 comic picks for next week's new comic book day, September 27th, 2023. If you did like any of those books from DC, from Lunar, you're going to want to go ahead and pick those up uh, the day before on September 26th, 2023, on that Tuesday. If you did enjoy the video, please give this video a like by clicking that thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel to see more great comic book and collectible content. And comment down below. Let me know what you thought about this video. What do you think about my opinions, my picks, my insight? I'd love to hear that. I love talking to you guys. I like to comment as much as I can. Um, so anyway, uh, thanks again for all of you who have um, made it this far and who continue to interact with my videos we're growing and it's basically all thanks to you guys and uh i did want to do one last reminder i am doing um i do have my paypal my venmo in the description of the video if you want to support the channel and if you did leave a message with the support i will read it in the next video thanks again for checking out this video and until next time